Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode number seven in the book of Titus. I'm going to title today Spiritual Emotional Intelligence, which is going to be my definition of a concept that Paul is asking Titus to teach to his younger men, which is self-control. We're in a little section where he addresses both older men, older women, and then he turns his attention, which we will do today, to younger women and younger men. Yesterday, we talked about older men and women, what they should be doing, not being put out to pasture, but being put into position to engage and contribute and participate and love and be steadfast and to teach and train the younger generation. It's very, uh, very active. So today we're in Titus chapter two, and we're going to start with uh, verse number three or four here. Older women, likewise, are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to too much wine. They are to teach what is good. And so train the younger women. And then here's going to be a little list of things that the the teachers, the older women, are to emphasize. So train the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Then verse 6, one verse for the, for the young men. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled, period. So we have a, a set of older women who are teaching and training younger women. That is, by their words, that is means listen to this, and then also by their example, which is the watch this part of this. So you have older women and younger women in community uh, making a go of it together in the spiritual life. They are charged to love their husbands and children. Let this be the main things. Be, be a person who loves children. Be a person who has a goal of being a great mom and a great wife. The one on, on a future Mother's Day, the children finally, when the light bulb goes on, they say, they bat their head and they say, hey, I had a great mom. I had an amazing mom. So just a question for the women out there. Is it your goal to be a great mom? Is it your goal to be a great wife? You probably won't hit those marks unless those are goals. All right, he's, he continues and says, be self-controlled. That is, be in control of something rather than controlled by. Be moderate in your, uh, in your expressions. Have a sound mind, good judgment. We'll talk about that uh, extensively when we get to the, the men. Pure. So younger women, be pure. Be pure, be holy, be chaste. The call to Christ is a call to purity for both men and women. And the problem is nobody comes this way and we have to get this way. So this is part of the training and the teaching. Uh, work at home, that is, uh, outside work is certainly optional. It's mentioned many times in the Bible for, for women, but the inside is primary and, requ and required. It takes uh, uh, care to uh, have this be an emphasis in your life. Then be kind, be good, be generous, and then submission. So we got to let's review what submission is. Um, there's a reason why all these characteristics of younger women are supposed to be enacted. That is so that the word may not be reviled, and that means to be smoke, spoken poorly of, to be spoken amiss, to be spoken wrongly of, and it's so sobering to know that my actions may cause the word and cause Jesus to be spoken of badly or defamed or blasphemed or spoken of disrespectfully because of me. So the charge here is don't be that gal. Don't be that guy. Make make the gospel winsome. Not only make it not badly spoken of, make it goodly spoken of. Don't be the person who has somebody respond and say, hey, I don't like Jesus very much because uh, of this particular uh, person. All right, so... So submission is, let's get back to that, is the voluntary relational attachment of myself under a designated person in a designated role that demonstrates an imperishable internal adornment before God. 
So with your words, attitude, and behavior. The problem is these, these people that we're attaching ourselves to are human people, and they are imperfect people. So this shows in relational practice what is true in spiritual reality, that you're trusting and relying on the Lord primarily. And submission will never work to a person unless you get the part of submission to God right. And it's described as for the Lord's sake, you know, submit for the Lord's sake, obey in the Lord as you would to Christ, as you would to the Lord. And it's not to everybody, it's to her husband and when he is acting in that particular uh, in that role. So th- all these characteristics, loving and purity and working at home and being kind and being submissive can cause the word not to be reviled and could be winsomely attractive. All right, let's go to younger men. Self-control. It says, talks about being in the right mind. And the the analogy I want to use was, you know, the M&Ms where you give put a kid in a room with one M&M and you say, if you wait uh, until I come back, I'll give you a, a second M&M. It demonstrates spiritual, uh, emotional intelligence. And I think self-control is spiritual uh, emotional intelligence. And he says to younger men, hey, get this main thing right. It's every every man's uh, battle. And what it is, it's deferring immediate gratification for the benefit of future gain. And it's giving up what you want to do want now for which you can't live without. So it's not everything, but it's the first thing. It's like he's saying, hey, start here. And then it has an effect on your zipper and your tongue and your anger and your work relationship. So here, spiritual words are not as effective without a spiritual walk. So let your walk match the talk. Let your example be a life that is amply filled. And have what you possess reflect that which you profess. So our imprint out there is to express the reality that's in here. So younger men and younger uh, women be in relationship with older men and older women who are teaching and training you in all of these things. It's like the older men and women, when they leave the planet, they say to the young people, I've given you everything you need. The future of the church and the present of the church is all, all for you. You've been trained. You've been taught. You are the future. So if you're older, help these people. If you're if you're younger, come under the, the the older people. Let's have some spiritual, emotional intelligence. If you're a man, self control. It's emphasized in the young men. It's also emphasized in the women. Thanks for listening.